Kyle, uh, you look pretty comfortable out there with your shot today. Uh, you know, just, you know, not forcing anything and, and just taking what comes to you. What did you see? Yeah, I think you hit it right on the head. Um, I think I was trying to make the right play every time. And when you make the right play every time, the ball just comes back to you. Um, I guess, yeah, for both of you, kind of what goes into a, a shooting game like this? I think you were something like 13 for 24 from, from three-point range. Uh, I would say um, just us moving the ball, kind of getting everybody involved. We've kind of been talking about it over the past month about having the disease in me, and like Coach been real big on that, and us getting everybody involved because it's the team shot, not our shot. So, yeah. Before the game started, I, I told Ken, I said, Tristan's going to hit 10 threes today. <laughs> and how, how did it feel to, to hit that first one and get in a rhythm and, and get going? Uh, when I really seen the ball go through the net, I feel like that's all I really needed to see. And once I seen the ball, like pretty pretty much when I when I hit one shot, it seems like I hit every every the next one. So like, it was just really, I really needed to see the ball go through the net. Tristan, on that same line, uh, is that something you feel in warm ups on a game like today, or is it something that just starts after the uh, after the tip off and you get a feel for how it's going to go? Um. Uh, I kind of felt it uh, when I woke up this morning. So, yeah, <laughs> I was feeling good when I woke up. Kyle, everyone, when they look at the box score, they're probably going to see you had 13 points, but those eight rebounds were really big, and you got the got the ball moving in the, and playing at the pace that Coach Passer wanted. You know, have, is that something you – was in your head before the game started? Yeah, I mean, he's been harping on it all week. All of our coaches have been talking about pace, you know, playing at a much higher pace, and that's all to our advantage. So that was my biggest goal for this game. Kyle, um, mm -hmm. can you kind of uh, go over just the way you've played so far this season? You started out in the lineup, you know, mm -hmm. dropped out, and you got your chance today again. Just how do you feel about the way things have gone so far for you? Man, as long as we win, that's all I care about. You know what I mean? I think everything else is going to take care of itself. As long as we keep stacking W's, the rest is going to fall in where it's going to fall. Anything else for the guys? Yeah. Last thing. Um, Kyle, if I could ask you something that Tristan mentioned about the disease of me mm -hmm. and kind of what your perspective on it and how you feel like you guys are maybe working your way out of it. Yeah, um, I don't think we have any selfish players. We have a lot of talented players, you know, and sometimes, you know, we all feel like, if it's one-on-one, I can make this shot, you know. But um, when we play together, I think we're really hard to beat. And um, that's been our main focus for these past couple of weeks. And I think going into ACC play, we're a dangerous team when we play together. Six players in double figures today. I guess when you meet again with Coach Pastner, he'll be giving you his favorite phrase, I imagine. No, for sure. Um, but we on to the next game. You know, on Monday, we got to prepare. I think it's Clemson coming up. So we'll be ready and locked in for it. A soft question for either of you guys. Did, did you have it in your head that you might go for 100 today? Was that kind of a goal? Uh, yeah, that was definitely a goal. Cause I seen we had uh, 86 points, and it was like seven or eight minutes to go. So, I, yeah, it was a big goal for us to get 100 points and put a lot of points on the board. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Appreciate you.